Okay. Look, it's wrong. Hello, good evening, everybody. My name is Apostle Dr. Kasi, the comedy lion killer, the preaching encyclopedia, the preaching catalyst. Good evening, everybody. Please share this video. I want to quickly respond to the viral video going on on social media. Please go ahead, join me, share this video. Go ahead, share this video. Let's let's get it. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Come on, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. Go ahead and share it. 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 Uh, first of all, uh, uh, let me have that. Uh, my, uh, let's, uh, first of all, let's uh, let me first of all, uh, you understand? Let's oh, say wine is for the merit heart. You understand? Uh -huh. No, yeah. Let me have my glass go. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Oh. Now I got to my Good. Oh. <laughs> ah. That was. That was. Mind blown. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Go ahead, share this broadcast. Well, I'm going to be briefed. I'm going to be briefed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Oh, welcome to this live broadcast. My name is Apostle Dr. Cassie, the comedy preaching cutter, the preaching sarcophedia, the comedy lion killer. Well, I want to quickly respond to the video that is going viral. I want to start. I want to welcome everybody. Other masses, you're welcome. Good evening. I want to start first of all. I want to start first of all to apologize to all lovers of Pastor Casey. I want to apologize for that viral video at the end. From the depth of my heart, I am really, really ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm disappointed of myself. I fall so cheap. I, if you tell me I will fall so cheap to myself, I won't believe that. I want to apologize to everybody. I want to apologize to people who are looking up to me. I want to apologize to people who believe in me. I want to apologize to people who never believed that was me. I want to apologize to everybody. I want to say I am really, really, really sorry. Forgive me from the depth of your heart as I have asked God also for forgiveness. And I took time to apologize to my member also. And I want to ask, I am sorry. I'm sorry, deeply, deeply sorry. Every one of you, I want to say I'm sorry. I am sorry for that video, that viral video showing we are drinking, uh, Eric King, uh, with some ladies and all that i want to say i am deeply sorry forgive me all facebook users all my fans everywhere i want to say forgive me forgive me now i don't want to talk so much about what actually happened in that viral video because the Nigeria police is already investigating the matter. And I want to assure you 
by the time they are true, they will bring the truth out and the world will know the truth. Because no matter what I say now, you are not going to believe me. You are not going to believe me no matter what I say now. Please, I want to say, forgive me first of all. Put all the blame on me. I want to say, I am really, 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 really sorry. I want to say, I'm really, really sorry about that. Now, the truth remains that because why I'm apologizing for those video. Now, it was in recovering my phone because after this whole thing, this lady made away with my phone. It's a friend, but she made away with my phone. But I never knew that she was paid to do all this. Now, on the process, why she asked me to pay two million naira, or else she will upload those videos, and also for me to go and need an, and apologize. And I said, I will not do that. I will not pay two million naira. I am ready to see those videos on Facebook and come out and apologize to everybody. Now, I want to say this. Please, forgive me. Forgive me. I'm ashamed of those videos. Forgive me. I'm here to apologize to everybody. Forgive me. Now, so many contradictions about my arrest because the police are still in this issue. So uh, there are there are restrictions of where I have to be restricted from. I hope you understand. I don't want to intercept the investigation of the Nigeria police. Please. Now, after she tried to make me pay two million, I refused. She called me to come and pick up my phone. Now, my house to that hotel is the same fence. Is the same fence so i drove out that very early in the morning to meet her to get my phone there was where the police met us not even in the hotel but in the streets where my house also is okay in the street that was where the nigeria police got me arrested now when i was arrested she was arrested and you know i i was she was arrested also, but they, they, they didn't allow me access to my phone. I got access to my phone when we got to Asaba. And that was where I wrote, I've been arrested. And I'm in Asaba airport going to Abuja. That does not mean I was arrested in Asaba. I was arrested in Bini City. Bini City my streets, my house streets, because she wanted to bring the phone to me in the hotel. I, I, I have to say a few things, you understand me. So, but she said she must give me the phone there. So when, when I got there, she didn't even enter inside. It was at the streets this took place. Now, there are so many contradictions, so many people asking who arrested you, who is the person that arrested you. Some people say this, some people say that. Please, I was the one that saw the petition that was given to me. I saw it with my two eyes. The petition that was given to me was cyberbullying, cyberstalking. And uh, uh, they brought the issue of Bishop Ufoma that I was the one who conspired. Who, uh, MCC Kobe, I, I will send you my new numbers. Uh, they say I'm the one that conspired with Ufoma and uh, 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 John, uh, Pastor John Mark to, to, to blackmail Prophet Jeremiah. Now, the arrest was written by Prophet Jeremiah lawyer speaking on his behalf that was why i was arrested so i i was never guilty of those things i was accused of so but the reason why i came out is to clear the air why where i was arrested and to apologize in the viral video going i want to say i'm very deeply sorry i'm ashamed of myself but 
have made peace with God. I think this whole plan was to silence me. I want to repeat this. If you think those video out there will stop me from speaking the truth, you have just made the biggest mistake of your life. Bobby, drop my new phone number. If you think those video, you have to drop all, drop all of them. If you think those video will make me stop speaking the truth, it's a lie. I will never stop speaking the truth because that is the end. That was the whole plan. I don't want to sell anything. I don't want to come here to make myself look like a saint. Yes, I am guilty. Everything you saw there, I'm guilty. I am sorry. I pleaded. Some of you who are insulting me, some of you who are, who are saying, hey, this and this, that and that, you do worse things than me. Yes, some of you drink too. But please, I want to say, those of you who love me, I want to say, I'm deeply sorry for those videos. I want them to bring all out. I want them to bring them all out. I want to assure you people that the Nigeria police force is already investigating these issues. Who will get to know the truth and who this guy is working for who will get to know the truth. But please, for now, put all the blame on me. For now, put all the insult on me. But have this in mind. The aim is for me to stop speaking the truth. Nobody can stop me from speaking the truth. Before I leave this live broadcast, I want to appreciate everybody who we are on ground. I want to appreciate Dada Masses that came with his team to meet me in Abuja at FCID and his lawyer. Dada, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for making attend. They bought me clothes, <laughs> brought money. Thank you, Dada. Thank you. God bless you. All Dada's family, thank you very much for your love. I want to thank uh, uh, Undiluted Truth, Ijele. Thank you. Ijele was there. Ijele came with his lawyer also, uh, but uh, they were asked to come on Monday. The same thing they told uh, Dada Masi's lawyer. But somehow a miracle happened that on Sunday evening. I want to thank uh, uh, the man who stood for shorty for me, uh, Mr. Mike. I want to thank him because that evening, I don't know what happened, but they, they asked me for a short tea and all that and i want to thank uh, mr francis this man since i arrived at abuja he has been making sure i was released mr francis thank you very much please i want to thank every one of you who participated i saw sec kobe put the pitch the video there for me to to come out sorry i may not begin to respond to your answer i've apologized and i've, I've I beg God for forgiveness. I don't think you need any other thing. You know, uh, and I thank God for my life because if not for God, maybe I could have been a dead man. Nobody knows what they were planning, but thank God for my life. Thank God I, I came out with my head and I came out with my life. I'm not the one that have done the most worst crime. And I want to say I'm so proud to myself to have come out. Let me be the first pastor in Nigeria who did something wrong and come out and apologize. Then I'm saying everybody put the blame on me. And I want to assure you all that by the time the police, Nigeria police, are through with their investigation, you are going to see the whole truth behind this issue, which I cannot tell anybody now. I want to thank SEC Kobe. I want to thank uh, Do Babe. I want to thank uh, WO, WU Entertainment. I want to thank uh, Dada Masses. I want to thank Ijele. I want to thank, the, there are some names I can't call. I can't call can't call but i want to say thank you everybody all of you did a very good job in my release i know many people want to know who release you who release you who release you i just told you the man who's too shorty for me is uh, uh mr mike and uh and uh, the the person who stood for my bill is uh mr uh, uh, francis i want to thank mr francis thank you very much for the three days I've been in Abuja, I kept me in a good hotel, take good care of me. I would say thank you very much. But please, but that's not the reason why I came out. With time, we are going to unveil this whole thing happening. I want you to be to look at this spiritually. If you are intelligent, if you are sensitive, I want you to know that something is actually playing somewhere. But please, I will beg all my followers. My number, my new number is there. Uh, 
Okay, my new number is 0916466025. I come again. I think I'll, I'll have to pin it here so that you can you can see it. Okay, that is my new number. Uh, you want to reach me? Um, so now I want you to know that this person was with my phone and he called me out to come and get my phone. It was when I went to get my phone and I was arrested on the street, not in a hotel. Leave them to start saying and all this blah 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 blah. But please, for now, put all the blame on me. I am sorry. I know they have a lot of video, the one I was kissing and all that, drinking a lot, a lot. Please, they are free to post it there, and I, I'll be happy for the law to take place because I sense blackmail. It is blackmail. They want to silence me. They want to stop me from saying the truth. They came through that way. I, you see, like I said, I, if I narrate this story to you, you are going to be shocked. But I feel I should first of all accept that I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But no man can stop me from the truth. My name is Apostle Dr. Kasi. They call me the lion killer. You can't stop me from the truth. They have done their worst. Let them do more. It's okay. I am not here to blame anybody, but to blame myself who falls short of my integrity. Thank you, everybody. I love you all from the depth of my heart. Bye-bye. Sorry, I can't respond to your message. So many of you will insult me. It's okay. It's okay. I know you are perfect. Go ahead. Okay, I've said time without number on this, my channel. But I am not perfect. Thank you very much. The reason why we beg that you don't push me to say more is allow the Nigeria police to please complete their investigation. Investigation is going on. How two of my phone was was uh, collected from me. You understand? And how some content was being posted out and all that. Please just be able to get to the truth of this whole issue. Please, I beg you all in the name of God. Please forgive from the depth of your heart. I beg all my members, those in Nigeria, those in diaspora, thank you very much. I want to thank them for the warm welcome they gave to me today. Thank you very much. It was amazing. It was mind-blowing. They, they have been encouraging me. All those of you who have been calling and encouraging me, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. What you did is, I, I appreciate them. Those of you who believe in me, thank you. Those of you who trust in me, thank you. Those of you who don't trust in me, thank you. Thank you, everybody. For now, I'm out of here. My name remains Apostle Dr. Kasi Chuku. They call me the Lion Killer, the Pretty Encyclopedia, the Pretty Catalyst. Love you guys. Join me on my tomorrow service by 11 a.m. I'll be preaching live. God bless you. Who God has blessed, no man, let no man curse. If God has forgiven me, please do forgive me. Thank you very much. I accept my mistake. If every pastor will take the same step anytime they go wrong and apologize, Nigeria will be a better place and the church will be a better place. I'm happy that I set the space. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye.